The Keshwa people of Peru are unique in the modern world. They are uniformly spiritual, uninterested in politics, and loyal to their family. They are not greedy or materialistic. They express themselves in shy smiles, and they rarely complain. The images of the colorfully dressed Quechua people, peacefully blending into the panoramic Peruvian landscape, seen so often in National Geographic or on the Discovery Channel, belie the harsh reality of their daily lives. I once asked Lenora, a Quechua lady living in the Coca Valley, what she thought of the foreign tourists coming into her valley. She replied, they come, they take pictures, and they leave no money. I've often thought about what Lenora said. I thought this is just not right. When Quechua Benefit began going to Peru in 1996, our only thought was to pull teeth, relieve the immediate pain, and pass out some warm clothes. But it is impossible to make the trip year after year and not wonder how to affect, in some small way, a permanent change. More than 10 years later, the Board of Quechua Benefit decided to build a children's boarding house at 11,000 feet above sea level in the Coca Valley of Peru so that the children could attend school in town. These students would be the neediest in the region, often living with single mothers or in an abusive household or those who live too far away from school to attend without the opportunity of a boarding school. Construction on the children's home was completed in late 2010, and the first 20 kids moved into Casa Chapi. At first, the kids attended school in the nearby towns of Chibai and Yankee. Returning home to Casa Chapi, each evening where the warm meals, house mothers, and tutors greeted them. Soon, the teachers at the local schools noticed that the children living at Casa Chapi excelled in their classwork, were well-behaved, and happy. Next, a delegation from the Ministry of Education asked to visit the children's village to see what was going on, what was making a difference. Then another group came from the ministry, again, to observe. Finally, they asked to meet with the Board of Directors of Quechua Benefit. The director of the Ministry of Education in Arequipa asked if we would be willing to build a school at Casa Chapi. He said they would certify the school, pay for the teachers, provide the books, and supply the food for breakfast and lunch. All they requested is that we build a school building. The Quechua Benefit had no plans for a school or funds for the building. The ministry badly wanted a project like Casa Chapi to be a model for other nonprofits to build similar facilities in the highlands and they decided to allow us to create temporary classrooms in the garage, the medical clinic, and the living room of one of the children's casitas. The fully staffed temporary classrooms opened in 2013. One year later, Quechua Benefit had raised enough money to build a beautiful new school with a computer lab, library, administrative offices, and room for 12 more children. The schoolhouse opened in March of 2016. Inspired by the success, the donors and board members began dreaming. How can we create a school curriculum that will become a pathway to hope, modeled on the privileged private schools in the developed nations of the world? We decided the new school would feature the teaching of foreign languages beginning in the first grade, a computer lab and well-qualified teachers, a school that every one of us would consider a privilege for our own children to attend. This thought led to the idea of creating partner school relationships with elite, independent schools interested in teaching their students about different cultures and levels of need. Schools who would actively participate with Quechua Benefit in missions to Peru, exchange students, art camps, and fundraising. Schools that would share their experience as educators. The first partner school agreement has been forged with Cascades Academy in Bend, Oregon. Students from the Academy have already been to Peru on missions are set to receive their first exchange student from Casa Chapi and have hosted a very successful fundraiser. Quechua Benefit's goal is to have a total of four partner schools, one for each classroom. Before our first visit to Peru in 1996, we could not have imagined the path we would follow and the positive impact 20 years of social justice programs would make. We learn more with each new initiative and each visit. There's still so much to be done. We need your help, we need your love to continue this good work.